Hey everybody, it's me, Joe. And in this YouTube video, what I want to do is go over the six most common English grammar tenses. All right, there's a lot of different tenses. I'm just going to cover the first six most common ones because there's, I don't want this video to be too, too, too long. All right, so there's a lot of rules and a lot of tenses. I'm going to try to present them here to make it clear for you. I'm hoping, fingers crossed. But before I do, I want to remind you, please hit the subscribe button and that little bell down below so you won't miss any of my videos when I release one every couple of days. All right, because you always want to be first. Oh yes, one more thing. Stick around until the end of this video and you'll see another wonderful movie clip with me in a very funny movie. All right? Okay, so what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to give you, I'm going to tell you about the tenses, and then I'm going to show you an example on the whiteboard, and I'm going to go back and forth and back and forth doing this. So hopefully you can get it straight. <laughs> I hope. Fingers crossed. Okay, so the first tense I want to talk about is the present simple. Sometimes people call it present simple, the simple present, same, same. So for our example, I'm going to use the, the sentence, I study English. So we use the present simple to talk about something that you do, that's a habit or that's the truth. I study English. Okay. All right. Uh, you could also say something like, I am a student. That's also the present simple. Here's the example on the whiteboard. So you can see at the top of the whiteboard, number one says, I study English. That is the present simple. That's a basic example. The next picture will show different examples of the present simple. Other possible examples of the present simple are, I love pizza. Joe lives in Canada. Joe is bald. And bald guys are super cool. Now, the second tense I want to talk about is the past simple. The past simple of our example sentence would be, I studied English. So we use the past tense of the verb. So maybe you're talking about sometime in your past. I studied English back in high school. All right. So you're old. I'm old guy now. I'm not a young student. I studied in the past. I studied English. All right. Here's the whiteboard. So the second tense, number two, is the past simple. I studied English. So the, the verb is spelled in the past tense, S-T-U-D-I-E-D. -E now look at some other examples of the past tense. And here are three examples of the past simple. Joe lived in South Korea in 1998. Joe got married a long time ago. And finally, my hockey team lost many games last year. I really don't want to talk about that one. It still hurts. The third tense I want to talk about is the future simple. Now, some textbooks might not talk about this sometimes because they're a little strange, but we can talk about the future. And this tense, uh, we would say something like, I will study English. So you're talking about the future, maybe next week, maybe next year, whenever, doesn't matter. I will study English. Okay. Here's the tense on the whiteboard. And the third tense, the future simple, the example right there is, I will study English. Other examples are on the next picture. I will show you the next picture. Other examples of the future tense are, Joe will upload a video later. 
my hockey team will improve soon. Please, please, please. And Canada will get warmer this month. I really hope that happens. The next tense is the present perfect. Now, this one's getting a little more complicated. So this is something that has happened in the past, but we're not saying when exactly it happened. So I have studied English. So that means sometime in my life, I have studied English. Could have been two years ago, could have been five years ago, could have been multiple times, but I'm not being specific about it. Same thing as like, I have seen that movie many times, but I'm not telling you exactly when. That's called the present perfect. Here's the whiteboard. So present perfect is number four. I have studied English. So you can see how it's different from the other tenses before it. And the next picture has lots of examples of it. Well, not lots, just a couple. So two other examples of the present perfect are Joe has seen all of the Avengers movies and also he has cried at many of them. I don't want to talk about that either. Tense number five is the past perfect. So we use this in conjunction with something else that's in the past. So it goes, I had studied English. So we only use it when we're talking about two things that happened in the past and you want to know which came first. So you might say, I had studied English before I went to Canada. Okay, so we use the past perfect to tell us which one happened first and then I went to Canada, that happened second. Here's the whiteboard. So the past perfect is number five. I had studied English. And the next picture will show you some examples of that. The past perfect examples are, Joe had graduated before he met Gail, that's my wife, and Joe had worked at a mental hospital before he became a teacher. That's true. And the last one on this particular whiteboard is the future perfect. And not used very often, but it goes, I will have studied English. So if we're talking about, say, next summer, but you start studying English in the spring, so you could say, by next summer, I will have studied English for three months. Starting in the spring, up until the summer, three months. But we're way in the past, so we have to call that the... <laughs> we, <laughs> so we call that the future perfect. It's not very common. We don't use it every day. It sounds strange. I will have studied English. Check out the whiteboard. So down at the bottom is the future perfect. I will have studied English. So the next picture will have a couple more good examples to teach you. So the examples are, by next year, Joe will have been a teacher for 25 years. Oh man, that's a long time. And by tomorrow, hundreds of people will have watched this video. Hopefully, I'm doing my part. You guys do your part. Share it with your friends. So that's the end of all the tense explanations. Now, don't stop the video. Keep watching because there's a few more minutes of really funny movie clip starring me and a super popular Hollywood movie star. Wait and see. I decided to get my GED so that I could move up to a management position, get off the truck. And my son, we call him Little Mac, he has decided to drop out of school. So I made a deal with him. I get my GED, he gets his diploma. <laughs> little reverse psychology. Hold on, wait a minute. That is not reverse psychology. Reverse psychology is when you pretend that you like something that you don't. What you'd have is just an agreement. All right. Oh, by the way, my name is Joe, and I failed high school because I had a serious uh, drug problem. But now I'm back and I'm trying to get my GED.
And what's your name? Ooh, there's a guy who's in prison here and he's taking class? What a wonderful world. Hey, yo, what up? I'm Bobby. That's what, that's what I'm talking about. That's Illuminati. That's what I'm saying. Whoa, you're all kinds of crazy, I think. Yeah. It's like they watching you and you think you watching them. That's what they do. So you got Bobby Digital, he here, but he not. That's Tupac Coachella, you know what I'm saying? And he in the, you see? Y'all don't, all right, um. Are you on crack? It's, it's Skype. Oh, is he on crack? He might be, cause, uh, but I, I'm not on that anymore. Not me. <sighs> Ooh, boy, it's hard to be woke. <laughs> it's hard to be woke. What is woke? Okay, well, welcome everyone. Really nice. We've all met. Well, we didn't. Uh, we didn't meet. We didn't meet everyone. Yeah, we didn't meet that guy. What's his name? Everyone, I didn't. Uh, Teddy. Uh, earlier, you said unlike these folks, you're not a night school type of person. So I didn't think you cared. Is that right? What, dude? Come on. What, you didn't you didn't hear it right because I would never say that about people that I don't know. You know what? This is a perfect segue. I'll just follow your lead and I'll stand up. I am Teddy Walker. A uh, little fun fact about me: I actually went here. Hey, that is a fun fact. Interesting. Oh, I'm also newly engaged. His fiance is out of his league. I'm sorry. What? Nothing. You're doing great. I said keep going. Everybody loves you. How does your fiance feel about you being in night school? Oh, she good. She loves it. <laughs> he ain't told her shit. Yeah, you really shouldn't lie to your girlfriend about going to school. If you lie to her about that, what else will you lie to her about? It's not cool, bro. Not cool. She loves it. I noticed that your voice just went up a whole octave. Now, from my studies of psychology in grad school, I know that that means that you're bullshitting. Ain't no bullshit to me. I tell you what, if you lying with her, don't lie to her. But I don't, I don't lie. Sound like some bullshit to me. Everyone sees right through you. Liar, liar, pants on fire. Am I right, guys? Am I right? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. How about we? If we go by your theory about the voice thing, I think that we're, I think that we're all getting off track. He's lied four times. This boy definitely lying. I'm not. You can't outsmart Mother Nature. And that's what, that, that's what a woman is, brother. Especially a black woman. You know how? That's correct. Girls are smart. Yeah. God damn it! Really? Like literally, like damn it. it. Even if he didn't tell her, so okay. what? Here's I told Randy that he was the first guy I slept with. Not true. But I'm trying to introduce myself.